What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? I don't want anything from you, Woody. I absolutely cannot babysit you dumbasses right now. So end whatever this is, so we can just move past it. Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay. Cause I'll tell you what he thinks. Wait, wait. I've got some questions for you. What possible questions could you have for this piece of shit? Everything's a problem when I wanna talk. But when the woodsman's about to leave, it's, oh wait, I have questions. What do you want? When you saw Lily, did she ever mention anything about a witch? No. We didn't talk about work. All right. Gren. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the rule. Maybe, uh, ogres, too. If I can't find her stuff, I might have to. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. I guess. Did you care about her at all? She was a nice girl. Ran around too much. Of course I cared. I still care. I hope so. I hope you do. I don't know why you fucking came here. There's nothing left for you to ruin. And I'm not in an entertaining mood. Just go back to sleep, Holly.
Lily's funeral. It was just so fucked tonight. But I still wish you could have been there. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he, if he cares about it. If he even gives a shit. I don't know. I don't know why he showed up. I just wish he'd get out of my fucking life. This whole thing, uh, it's just a job to him. Yeah, I think so too. But, you know, it's not like he's... We're getting your glamour on this day, and one of these has to be the witch. Auntie Greenleaf. Gotcha. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Oh, thank God. Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on, uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. Let's get going. I told you not to worry. Right. Listen, we have to hurry. I'll meet you down there. All right, I'll see you there. Got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is it. All right. How do you want to do this? Wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? What does it look like? Don't just kick it in. We don't know what's on the other side. Let's just save the last resort for last. Oh my god! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Don't hurt me! We are so sorry. We didn't realize you were right there. Where's Crane? Is he hiding in here? Has he left? I'm... I'm sorry. It's I... all right. It's, it's okay. Calm down. We're not here to hurt you. Are you sure? Yes. Mr. Wolf can get a bit excited sometimes. But that's all over with now, I assure you. Now, what's your name? Rachel. Who are... Uh, who are you? Just so... We're not strangers. Dearie? I'm the big bad wolf. Big B. Really? <laughs> wow. I I've heard about you. Have you? Yeah. All about how the woodsmen cut you open, fed you rocks for dinner, and then threw you into the ocean. And you can't even swim! Did it leave a scar? Can I see it? Are you and the woodsmen friends? I heard somewhere that you guys are friends. But I mean, I wouldn't think you'd be friends after something like that. Okay, kid. Look, I'll make you a deal. If you're good, I'll give you a whole demonstration. I'll be me, and you'll be the grandmother. Though, uh, I don't know if Miss White here would necessarily approve. <laughs> okay, deal. Is there, um... Is there anything you need? I'm not allowed to let people in. Is your mother at home, currently? I don't need a babysitter. I can cook dinner all by myself. Is there... something you want? Rachel, do you mind if I take just a quick peek around? We'll be very quick, and he won't touch anything. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Okay, Mr. Wolf. I'm gonna trust you not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. What are we looking for specifically? Crane. He could still be here. No one's been over all night, so... He's just going to check. 
It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. Where do you buy your clothes? Your mama, Hunter? Oh no, she never... That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain. I think. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. That your mom? Uh huh. I saw a spider over there yesterday. Oh? It was a pretty one. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? Not here. There's no one here but me. Do you like broccoli? Not really. I love it. There's nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? Do you have any pets? Butcher. What's that? A package. Having to do with someone called the Butcher. I saw one just like it at the Tweedle's office. God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now? Please? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. I don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Look, I'm already grounded. Snow, come on. Are you kidding? It's a glamour tube. Something's going on here. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! You gotta believe me. The guy isn't here, I promise! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna... I don't wanna get in trouble. <laughs> It hurts when you do it that fast. What? You picked the wrong night to lie to me. No more lying, no more ring around the rosy, no more bullshit non sequiturs. You're done. It's over. You're gonna tell me what I wanna know right now. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. I was born in the woods to a jackal and a... None of this pathetic witchcraft crap is gonna prevent me from prying what I need from your gullet. Now tell me where Crane is. I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew. Huh. That's funny. Uh, I distinctly remember telling you just now to not fucking lie to me! I don't think you get it. I'll gladly illustrate how much trouble you're in if you keep up the babe in the woods routine. I have a lot of bullies in my life, Mr. Wolf. One more won't tip the kettle. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something, you have to forget it. You should be a lot more afraid of me than whatever horseshit you think will come back to bite you. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. 
This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the Fables, who can't afford the glamours from you, come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they oh, could don't go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two Fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but please, don't do this. Greenleaf Snow's right. The tree has to go. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here, and he left. He went to the Pudding and Pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the Ring of Dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girls' speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. Just please, you can catch him if you leave, okay? Just leave, and don't... Don't burn my tree. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Don't destroy it, please. Okay. That wasn't so hard, was it? That's it? She's off the hook? Come on. We have to get to Crane while he's still there. Hey, Greenleaf. Don't think this is over. I won't. No, it's nothing you need to concern yourself with. I don't think so, at least. Shit. Hold on. Oh, do you miss the spot? Mr. Clean, come to smash up the rest of my place. Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. I didn't do anything. These girls, the, the, the girls, they'll back me up. I just have to keep a stupid ring working, that's all. They can't talk because of that spell. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over. That's all, please. I'm innocent, completely, completely innocent. No one's ever talked their way out of an execution, Crane. No, 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 really, this will work, I tell you. I, I went to... You! Damn you, come on. Please, tell me who killed her! My lips are sealed.
How many years? <laughs> what? How many years has this been going on? Too... Too many. But I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just... I... It just... Oh, God. You screwed up, Crane. Bigby, share it. Listen, the amount of evidence I have, the town wouldn't bat an eye if I were to throw you down the witching well tonight. Please, Sheriff, I'm telling you the truth when I say that I did not kill that woman. Bigby? I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? He's not... He wouldn't be brave enough not to put his stamp on the world like that. We've been chasing this guy. Just, why now? Because look at him. You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fable Town, of using our money for his own ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? We've both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? Yes, I know how this... Why would he even come here if he wasn't covering his tracks? This fuck-up knows more than he's saying. I don't. I don't! Uh, yes, okay, he probably does. But there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did it. Okay, but if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm sorry, but who the hell did? <laughs> you know, when I saw you come back here, I thought this was over. Now, I know, and I'm sorry, but if the killer's still out there, I want to know who it is. This whole thing is bigger than Crane. He wouldn't have the stones to send the Tweedles after me. Somebody else is involved. Well, shit. I didn't intend for any of this to get so... You've been stealing money from Fabletown for years, haven't you? Yeah. We're not gonna kill you, so quit your shivering. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses, but as of right now, you're coming with us. And for suspicion of murder. No, Sheriff. This can't be Greenleaf again and again, behaving however you like, acting without constraint. You have to respect this office, Bigby, and you have to respect me as its leader, starting now. You think you have what it takes to run that office? You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices. And you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had. And the town took everything it could out of me. Better save your energy, huh? You're going away for a long time. What are you saying?
What you got there? Look, it's recently come under our attention that you're... How shall I put this? Attempting to claim what is the personal property of the Crooked Man. He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds. Pissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? I haven't told him anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown-ups are talking. What do you want? That sack of flour. Crane, dear. It's Crane. It wasn't my fault. <clears throat> Shut up. You're interfering with official Fabletown business. Step aside. Tweedledee. What's the, uh, you know, that thing the Mundies call me? Wha what? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Bloody, Bloody Ma Mary. That's it. Thank you. And do you know why they call me that? Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. And I do that for a hobby. Like golf. To relax. This is my job. I like my job. He's in custody, so move your car. I told you he'd never just give him up. Fuck it. I just didn't know when to end. You know, you wouldn't think silver bullets would work on anything but a pure werewolf. But as it turns out, it's just a
Right, Wolfie? I mean, hey, look, I know it sounds ridiculous, but really, guys, <laughs> can you argue with these results? Because I know I can't. Wait! Stop! Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Just stop, please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yes! Get out of here! It's your lucky day, kid. The crooked man says it's okay with him. Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomach ache? Oh, and just between us girls? Crane ain't no killer. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. Be in touch. See you around. He's lucky to be alive, and he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. This is getting worse by the minute. We don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move. I'll get things under control. Woody, I'm not gonna tell you again. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. What do you want to talk about? I just wanted to, um, about last night. When people hear what you did to Dom, they're going to think you've gone back to your old ways. Don't hold out on me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? Don't make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. <laughs> then again, you don't have much choice at this point. Do you? 